Winners, butt kickers, champions of life. What's going on, peeps? Spencer Rose here, H2G Fitness, coming to you from behind the wheel of my car. Hope everybody's having an incredible day today. I am en route to the Casa and just got done with an epic shoulder and leg workout. And uh, it was pretty bad at the bone, if I do say so myself. But I want to record a real quick message for you guys. I had a question from one of my clients uh, the other day, and he was asking me, should he eat less calories? on the days that he doesn't work out and then eat more calories on the days that he does work out. So, you know, uh, it would make sense, right? If you're not working out, you don't need as many calories. If you are working out, you would need more calories because you need more fuel in the tank to make it through the workout and whatnot. And you wanna know what? You could do that, but in my opinion, um, you're making something more difficult than what it needs to be if you track your food the way that I track my food. I don't track calories. I track macronutrients. Now, that's kind of a, uh, well, Vincent, if you're tracking macronutrients, you are tracking calories. This is true, uh, but I don't pay attention to the calories. I pay attention to how my body is responding at a certain amount of carbs I'm eating every day, a certain amount of fats that I'm eating every day, and a certain number of proteins, grams of protein, carbs, and fats <clears throat> that I'm eating every day. If I like my results, I keep all of the numbers the same. If I'm trying to bulk, I'll increase the carbs and fats a little bit. If I'm trying to cut, I'll decrease the carbs and fats a little bit. And it's a process of hitting these numbers every day, monitoring how my body's responding to it, and then making tweaks as need be. And as complicated as that might sound, it literally takes less than five minutes of mental energy a day to do this and you get incredible results doing so. This is what I practice myself. This is what I teach my clients to practice also. Now, that being said, when you're first learning to track macros, as they call it, for some people it's challenging. Um, for some people, they just, they get it right away. But either way, you know, there's a learning curve and all this kind of fun stuff, but once you get the hang of it, it's not that bad. Now, if you're constantly changing your macros every day, every day, every day, or every other day, or you know, four days high, four days low, or three days low, and whatnot, then you know, you kind of got a moving target all the time. You're trying to always hit something different, and you can do it, and there's nothing wrong with it. However, I like to keep things simple and say, well, you know what, instead of playing Tetris with my carbs, fats, and protein every day, I'm just gonna keep the numbers the same so I'm hitting the same numbers all the time. It takes less mental energy and it's easier. Now that's from a standpoint of just not wanting to put more mental energy into what it is that I'm doing because it's pretty flipping unnecessary. From a standpoint of results, is it more optimal to eat more calories on workout days and less calories on non-workout days versus eating the same amount all the time? It's not more optimal at all and it makes no difference even a little bit because your body doesn't go off of every 24 hours, off of every 24 hours, off of every 24 hours. Your body goes over an extended period of time and averages out the fuel that you're putting in the tank and the amount of fuel that you're using. And then based off of that, that determines on whether or not you're gaining fat, losing fat, building muscle, losing muscle, is how that, it's the law of human thermodynamics. And as I just said, it's not on a 24 hour time frame. it's over an extended period of time. So what somebody could do is if they were practicing the whole high calories on, low, uh, on workout days, low calories on non-workout days, if they were just to take the average amount of calories, you know what I mean? Add it all up, divide it by seven and see what the average amount of calories that they're eating and then eat that amount of calories every day, every day, every day, every day, every day, the results would be exactly the same. So if that's the case, if it's not more optimal to do it the other way, if it's, not, if it's not more optimal to do it one way or over the other, you might as well choose the easiest way possible, in my opinion. Does that make me right? No. Does that make you right if you're doing it the other way? No. It's just a matter of preference. I'm just pointing out one way, in my opinion, is easier than the other, and being that there is not one way being optimal over the other, keep it simple, right? There's enough difficult things in life already. Why add one more thing to the stack? So hopefully that helps. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, thoughts, ideas, any of these things, comment section down below. And uh, if this video helped you in any way, shape or form, you would like to like and or share it, won't be mad at you at all. And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, I will highly encourage you to do so. With that, Vincent Rose, H2G Fitness, the future is bright. Something good is happening. You guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Be blessed.